poppin'. What is good, everyone? This is your Prince Brumal, and we are back with more Trails in the Sky first chapter. Now, um, if you guys are hearing, like, wind brush up against my mic, I apologize for that. It is currently raining right now, and I have my window open because the breeze feels really nice right now. So hopefully this only lasts for, like, a part, maybe two. It depends on how much I record tonight. I'll probably just record one part because I am a little bit over what I need to be recording. Ooh, there was a strong gust right there. That felt amazing. Probably annoying to you guys. But, uh, who knows. So, we should be coming up toward... Yep, Minaria Village. Here we go. This is where we need to be. It's pretty cool. We'll see, like, a little seaside town. Or a village. <sighs> well, civil uh, civilization at last. And with all these pretty white flowers blooming everywhere, too. The magnolias. Like, what did you say this place was called? Uh, Minoria. It's a, yeah, it's a little seaside village with an inn. And the white flowers are a type of hibiscus. I don't know what those are. I thought it was magnolias. Well, never mind. Anyways, well, they're so pretty. The ocean and the flowers together. It smells great around here. Hmm. It almost makes me kind of hungry. Well, only you, yeah, only you could work up an appetite from smelling flowers. Just make sure you, yeah, just make sure you eat the food and not the flowers. Hey, I'm a growing girl. It's almost noon anyways, so... Yeah, yeah. What should we say to lunch? Uh, fine by me. But, and do we have any provisions? Um, I mean, we have all those uh, apple cream things that I made, and we probably still have some sandwiches too from, like, the very, from, like, the prologue. So, yeah. Why don't we get, yeah, why don't we get something local? It's such a nice, quiet little town. I mean, we just got to Ruan. Well, that's true. Okay, let's go check the inn in the tavern. First, we're going to talk to everyone that we can outside and then start checking. Actually, you know what? This isn't a tavern. This is someone's house. Let's see who's in here. Zach. I used to work at the harbor in Ruan, but I came back after taking the arrow to the, I mean, to the village of my birth. I'll probably wind up settling down right where I was born and raised. The only downside is to my oh-so-delighted sister is here. What's your sister? Amelia. Zach was fired from his job in Ruan, so he came back here. <laughs> Dang. I have to wonder if he ever puts any thought into his future. His big sister is always worried about him. Oh, so that's not his big sister. So, are you his wife, then? I don't know, you guys got the same hair color, but that doesn't mean anything. Who's this little child? Are you guys travelers? I live over at the inn. You ought to stop in if you have time. All right, I will. Uh, That is Minoria Elder's house. Oh, are you travelers? If you're looking for a place to eat, I suggest the White Magnolia. They've got good food, and you get a fair amount of your you get a fair amount for your money. It's worth checking out. Oh man, that wind feels so good compared to how it's been all day. I'm sorry, y'all. Like we've been like we've been like in the 90s for humidity level, and right now it just feels amazing. But who knows how long that's gonna last? Ah, more travels or travelers. Welcome to Minoria. At one time, yeah, at one time, this village was quite renowned for its inn. But with the advent, yeah, with the advent of airships, we've seen less traffic. Nowadays, we survive only because of the famous flowers. But yeah, this also makes this the perfect opportunity to record too. It's just been so hot that I haven't want to record at all. All right, there's nothing in here. Thing over here too so i noticed when i was recording in the last part i skipped over a chest guys um i will go back and grab that chest um it's on there's only an ep charge in there so it's nothing too important but there might i don't know if there's an achievement for grabbing all the chests so i'll definitely but i'm definitely gonna go back and grab that chest it's right after we left hawking gate oh, all right these flowers you see everywhere, they're, uh, yeah, they're a breed called Magnolia. Aren't they positively gorgeous? Sure. What do you have? Bear claws, azalea fruit, and fresh herbs. 
Nothing that I can use. General storing goods. My granddaughter, Sadie, really is a sweet girl. Her parents left to find work, but Sadie stays here with me. I'm truly grateful. Huh? Oops. I said that. Oh, that's a woman. Never mind. thought it was a dude. Let's see. What do we have here? Tear bombs. Probably get eight of... Merging bombs. Diving bombs. Give me... All right. So here's where we go for our infinite money trick. That's all you got there. Oops. Not going back inside. Is there anything? Oh, this is actually a really small village. Okay. Let's go to the White Magnolia. Talk to the people here. All right. We're all woodsmen, hikers, and mountain nuts here. We came to Minoria so that we could do some climbing in Coroni Mountains. Nice. All right. We're self-proclaimed mountain uh, mountaineers. I know Minoria is... Yeah, I know Minoria is... Shelby, that's a woman. All right. I know Minoria is the best place to set off a... Yeah, to set off for a trek in the Crony Mountains. We're just trying to get... Yeah, we're just trying to get everything we need to make the climb safely. Okay, cool. Welcome, welcome. Care for some food? We'd be happy to have you. I make it all myself with the uh, help of my husband, and I'm quite confident you'll love every bite. Alright. Pretty sure if we talk to him, the story will progress. So let's see, is there anybody upstairs? Oh, what's up here? Oh, just a little thing. Okay, cool. Dun, dun. Here? Nope. Alright. We'll get that die payala. Got the recipe. Shop, what do you have? Pluck herb tea. I will buy 10 since they're not that bad. And vegetable sandwiches. Eh. Ah, welcome to the White Magnolia. I don't recall seeing you before. Are you here on vacation? No, we're just passing through on our way to Ruan. Yeah, we came from we came from Bose, by the way. Or by way of the Crony Pass. Oh, you're joking. Wow. I never thought I'd meet another person brave enough to handle that place in this day and age. You're into hiking, I assume. No, not especially. It sure works up an appetite though. Is there anything in particular you would recommend? Oh, yes. I suggest trying the box lunch. What's that? That windmill at the edge of town has a platform with a great view. Every day at lunch, lots of people buy them and take them there to eat. It's like, oh, that might be a, that might be nice. From what you're saying, it sounds like something I'd like. Ooh, strong wind. Mm, that feels amazing. Anyways. Well, why don't we try it? What kind of box lunches are there? Well, there's smoked ham sandwiches and uh, seafood palette. Pa I don't know how to pronounce that. Either would be good, in my opinion. Hmm. I think I'll try a sandwich. I think I'll try the sandwich. And I'll have the seafood paella. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Ah, thank you. That's 120 mirror. Dang! That's probably like $12, to be honest with you. Usually in these games, they make stuff seem like a lot more expensive than what they are, but yeah. And I'll toss in some er yeah, I'll top in some herb tea at no charge. It's my specialty. Thanks. Alright, wanna go over to that viewing platform? Sure. Alright. Joshua and Estelle are gonna go. Who's that? Girl in uniform. I've already checked here. He's not in the general store either. Ah, uh, dang. Where can he be? Get a move on, Joshua. Whoa, Estelle, watch where you're going, or... Ah! Look. <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry. Are you okay? 
I wasn't paying attention to where I was going and... No, no, it's all right. Pardon me. I confess my... Uh, yeah, I confess my attention was elsewhere as well. Oh, okay. So I guess we're even. I swear, Estelle, what are you doing? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing. I'm sorry if she disturbed you. You're not hurt, I hope. No, I'm fine. I was looking for someone and wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, who are you looking for? A little boy about 10 years old, wearing a cap. I don't suppose you've seen him by chance. A boy in a cap? You seen anyone like that, Joshua? Not that I can recall, no. I see. Well, where could he be? If you'll excuse me, sorry to have caused you trouble. Joshua? Hello? Calling Joshua. Come in, Joshua. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, what, what is it? Gee, I wonder. Oh, I get it. I see what's going on. You were checking out her butt. <laughs> He's like, uh, listen. <laughs> There's no way to tell because my back of my head was showing. Anyways, what half-baked idea is, is cooking up in this... Uh, are you cooking up this time? Now, now, no need to be shy about it. I see the way you set your heart a flutter. Absolutely not. I just think I've met her uh, before, a long time ago. I was just surprised. Hmm? Met her before, you say? As pickup lines go, I give it 30 points. Moving on. Don't you recognize her uniform? Now that you mention it, isn't that the same as that, the same outfit that Joe Set used as a disguise? Yep, the Genus Royal Academy uniform. Since we're in Rouen, it's not all that surprising to see someone wearing one. Ah, so that's the real thing then. She seemed polite and smart and refined. Totally different from that scruffy crude pretender, in other words. What are you talking about? Josette had you completely fooled from the get-go. Mm. Oh, that's right. You teased me about it then too. Well, if you get taken for a fool again, don't expect me to help you. <laughs> Instead of picking on me, why not work to become a better judge of character? All right, all right. Fine. I won't pick on you anymore. Good. I mean, the thing about that is Estelle gets to pick on him one time and then he clowns her for it, right? But yet she pick but yet he picks on Estelle all the time. <laughs> and gets nothing out of that so uh, yeah, i don't know but anyways y'all gonna leave my baby girl still alone anyways well now that we yeah now that we don't have to what now that we don't wait what now why don't we go have lunch at the viewing platform fine all right let's go to that viewing platform wow check out this view Yep, you can practically see the entire ocean from here. And if you guys remember on the map, uh, the Ruan Academy is actually not too far from this area. Like we would run into the split road where the Ruan, yeah, where the um, Genus Academy. I said Ruan Academy. The Genus Academy is before hitting Ruan. So yeah. But anyways, getting to eat at a nice place like this really makes it feel like you're living it up, huh? Sure does. So. Shall we have ourselves a little picnic then? Sure. I'm starving. Get a load of this smoked ham sandwich. It smells so good. Looking forward to eating my seafood, um, paella personally. I love the smell of saffron. Well, let's dig in. Yeah, let's. It's like time for that first bite. It's like, wow, this is good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. It's as good as it smells. I said this. I, I do not know what I'm reading. Anyways, the lettuce is super fresh and crunchy. Huh. Seafood's really good, too. Just the right amount of saffron. My compliments to the chef. Hey, can I have a bite? I never tried that before. Paella? I don't know what that is. All right. 
How about we share? Hmm. But my hands are full. Oh, I know. You feed me. Feed you? Yep. Uh. This is a little embarrassing. Oh, it's fine. It's not like anyone's watching. Unless you can... Yeah, unless you can let loose, you'll never enjoy yourself. It's not being... Yeah, it's not being seen that makes it embarrassing. I don't have much choice here, do I? Joshua and Estelle... Yeah, Joshua fed Estelle a bite of the paella. Mmm, delicious. That's some pretty fantastic seafood. I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know what that sweet peppery smell is. It's that... It's that Lowry seasoning. That's what it is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's lemon pepper. Anyway, I don't know. But it really adds something. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's like, oh, I'm being selfish, aren't I? Okay, give this a try. So pushed her sandwich into Joshua's mouth. Perhaps a little too enthusiastically. <clears throat> That's pretty tasty, but you really don't have to do that, you know? Hmm, I know. Huh, interesting. So, I remember the guy that I watched play this game actually put up a uh, picture. Someone had actually drew artwork of this scene right here, and it was actually really good. I'm not actually finna look up the artwork or anything like that. Um, Actually, while I'm talking, I could probably look it up, and if I find it, maybe I'll, I'll think about linking it. Actually, I won't, because as of right now, part 20 is up. I think that's the latest video, and by the time I upload this... Yeah, by the time I actually upload this video, it'll probably be like two weeks from now. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, but hold on. I think if you go to Google, let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see if I can find this. Uh, type in Joshua. That is not how you spell and. Spell. I forgot how to spell. All right. Joshua and Estelle, um, lunch, I think. That's not how you spell lunch. I cannot spell today. I am horrible. Let me see if someone, I, th I believe someone drew a picture of this. Yep, here it is. I found it. And it's a, it's a, yeah, and it's basically a, um, it's a shot of Joshua feeding Estelle. Uh, and him actually looking embarrassed doing it too. And it's by a. Uh, if you go to. I guess if you type in Dan Burrow. I guess. Basically, let's put it this way, guys. Oh, that that's not. Let's put it this way. If you type in. If you type in what I'm type what I typed in, Joshua and Estelle lunch break, right? It should be the first picture on the second row. In the second row. That's what it should be. Um. But who knows? Things may change. But yeah, look it up for yourselves, guys. I'm not gonna put it in the video or anything, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna like take someone else's art or whatever. But I'm letting you know. Just type in Joshua in a cell lunch break, and it should be the, it should be, the um, it should be on the second row, the first picture of the second row, going across. So yeah. Anyways, ah, that hits the spot. Ah, uh, the herbal tea. Yeah, the herbal tea we got with our meals was pretty good. Yeah, it was nice and yeah, it was nice and warming without sitting all heavy. The breeze is so nice, makes me kind of sleepy. Yeah, they say yeah, they say that you shouldn't sleep right after eating. Yeah, I've actually heard that too. Apparently, you can actually get fat that way. But maybe a little post meal nap, aka the itis. Shout out to the Boondocks. Uh, isn't so bad in moderation. Yeah. But that bird just hit the windmill. Ah! Hey, did you see that bird? It looked like a seagull. Except it was huge. Yeah, those wings were a different shape and the beak was sharp. Maybe it was maybe it was a falcon or an eagle. A white falcon? Hmm. Didn't know they made him in that color. Hmm. I wonder if it's a sign of good fortune for in our future. Yeah, well, that would be nice. Hey, I thought you were sleepy. Oh, not anymore, I guess. Huh, maybe we should get going then. 
I'd like to check on the Ruarian Guild branch and get our paperwork squared away. Oh, right. Okay. I hate to leave, but I guess we have to. Alright, guys, so... Oh, never mind. Got more... Well, today must be... Yeah, today must be my day for just randomly running into people. Sorry about that. I'm just looking for somebody. Say, you're not from around here, are you? This is the boy wearing a cap. Looks like this is the one the girl was looking for. Nope, we're from out of town. Hey, aren't you... What? We ran into a girl who said that she was looking for a boy wearing a cap. You know anyone like that? Oh, well, I'm looking for her, actually. Where'd you see her? Over by the tavern. It was a while ago, though, so I'm not sure where she went. Would you like us to help you search? Nah, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can find her. Okay, bye. That kid seems pretty energetic. He reminds me of little Luke back in Roland. I wonder if the kids are... Yeah, I wonder what the kids are up to now. What's wrong? It might just be my imagination, but... Have you lost anything? Lost what? Anything you're wearing? Like a money pouch or something? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? Let's see. Pouch. Check. Hairbands. Check. Bracer emblem. I knew it. What? Where is it? Did I drop it on the mountain pass or something? Calm down. I remember you had it when we were eating lunch. Plus, we showed it to the old man, too, when uh, we did his quest at the lighthouse. If you lost it, it has to be somewhere around here. But where around here? Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. It was probably that kid. I bet it happened when he accidentally ran into you. W what? Why would he want my bracer emblem? Uh, what reason does a kid have for wanting anything? He probably just took it because it because he could. Mm. Right. He's in so much trouble. Once I get my hands on him, he's gonna get a spanking of his life. This is back in the time when we could spank kids. Now it's look frowned now it's frowned upon all. I think we I think kids deserve spankings if they're if they're acting out. I mean I got spankings as a as a kid and I came out alright. Anyways, now calm down. For now, let's focus on figuring out where he is. But first, is it going to let me leave this area? Nope. Oh, because I was actually going to go back and grab that chest. Let's find that kid. Not here. Here. Maybe he went to the tavern. Dun, dun, dun. I like these quieter songs. Nope, not in here. Where would that kid go? Well, he definitely went this way. No way he would have doubled back, right? I'm here. He wouldn't have doubled back and came in here, would he? This is that part of the this is that part of the game where I have to figure out what happened. Um Hold up one sec while I figure out where this kid is. Alright, so yeah, I, I just had to talk to an NPC. A little boy? Nope, I haven't seen him. I did see a girl from the Royal Academy though. Uh oh, we talked to her. Hey, what's wrong? I have a question for you. You haven't seen a little boy in a cap around here, have you? Hmm, let me think. Was he, uh, yeah, was he a student's guest at the Royal Academy? Yes, actually. Alright, do you know the boy? Well, he's not from this town. I think he's one of the orphans. Huh? 
from Mercia, yeah, from uh, Mercia Orphanage. A woman called Matron uh, Tere, yeah, Mat uh, the Matron Teresa is the administrator, or is the am administrator, ma administrator. I can't read today. You can never read, Brumal. Shut up. Anyways, now she takes in kids who have lost their parents. It's just off the Gull Seaside Way to the east, so the kid lives there. Well, let's go check it out. All right, guys. But before that, let me go back and grab that chest if the game lets me. Yes, it does. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right. So we are here. Um. All right, y'all. So there is definitely a difficulty spike. And ooh, this is a monster that I kind of want to beat up. Oh! I am not fighting this thing head on. Hold up. They'd be like, dang. Ball, you a punk. You being a punk. And I did it again. Why can't I judge the distance of this thing? Bro. That was not okay. That reminded me of the freaking Kezu. From Monster Hunter, yo. Hold up. Wait a minute. We are not ready. I can't believe I messed up that many times. Where's my vegetable sandwiches at? This game is disgusting. There we go. Preemptive strike. All right. These guys, I believe. Wait, what's your names again? Yeah, okay. These guys have a chance of dropping. What's it called that we can use? I forgot what they're called. Uh evade evade two so we can use those okay you're not that strong they're not that strong so I'm definitely gonna farm these guys They self-destruct? I didn't get one, but that's okay. What are these, freaking shark pedos? There's a lot of them. I don't like that. Alright, we'll hit you with that AoE. And do I have an AoE as well? Do not. Um, petrified breath. That's just one. Orange temporary. Oh, that's just for one character. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just use a soul blur. Since we can't AOE with Estelle. Would have been very nice if we could have AOE'd with Estelle. Oh, it sucks. Now we got to focus. Alright. We might be able to kill. Alright, cool, cool. We got him. Gucci, we out here. Six experience. Two apiece. That wasn't too bad. Those guys weren't anything. Alright, that was a little bit easier. We got a chest over here. Tear bomb. And fill this chest with your tears because it's empty. No... All right, I'm actually going to save right here only because I don't know. I want to end in an area. I want to end in an area that allows me to um, like if we get to a point where I can't turn back, I do want to farm that guy because I want to get those uh, things. But I don't know if coming to this story related area will let me come back here and farm this stuff because I want to get to a good point to stop off. 
North Mercia Orphanage. Hmm. Well, looks like it's up ahead. Yeah. What's wrong, Esto? Oh, okay. That settles it. The situation has nothing to do with it. It's not okay to take things from other people. When we find him, we need to punish him. Well, leave it to you to get all worked up over it. But for right now, you need to just settle down, okay? Don't tell me to settle down, Joshua. There he is. I swear, Clem, where did you go? Miss Chloe is gonna be worried about you. Eh, no, she won't. Not after I show her the awesome thing I got. No, oh, what did you get, Clem? Eh, now don't freak out or anything. I just borrowed it from some crazy lady and I ran into. Who are you calling crazy? Huh? Uh, what are you doing here? I'm a bracer. Give me a little credit. Wherever a little del yeah, wherever a little delinquent the uh, delinquent like you goes, we'll figure it out in no time. Ah, dang it! Well, you're not catching me. This boy ran. I can still see you. Hey, get back here! <laughs> she over here hopping fences. <laughs> I do like how these are animated. Hey, Mister, what's going on? <laughs> in the background. Did Clem do something bad again? Uh, I'm sorry to barge in like this. Ah, dang it. Let go. Let me go. Reminds us of Luke, right? When he tried to run when he was in the temple. Oh, man. What was that? Like, part four? Ah, oh, man. That was like, ooh. That was like a month and a half ago, I think, when I recorded that. Anyways. I'll sue you for child abuse. Ah, oh, you're a real brat. You know that? Now, give me back my emblem. You got no proof that I took it. Well, you're right on that one, but that's nothing a quick search won't fix. Ugh. Guys! Or no, not guys. I'm sorry. Hey, cut it out. That tickles. Pervert. Abuse. <laughs> Come on. Just give it. Yeah, just give it up and hand over what you took. See? Wait, what? See? Dang. Huh? What the heck was that? Freaking large hawk just attacked her. Get away from that boy. Lay another hand on him and... Yeah, lay another hand on him and you'll have to... What? You have me to cut... Huh? Anyways. Hey, you're that... I remember you from Minoria. That scree. Yeah, that's that girl. Help me, Miss Chloe. I didn't do anything, and she's being mean to me. Didn't do anything, my butt. You stole my emblem. So where's your proof? Uh, and no tickling this time. Mm. Hey, we meet again. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. I thought for sure... that a thief had broke in. I assume there's a reason for all this. Yeah, there sure is, Miss Chloe. Clem was being bad again. Dang, you don't snitch on him? Dang, no snitches. What's, what's wrong with y'all? Hey, is the apple pie ready yet? You'll have to wait a little longer. It still needs time to bake. You friggin' brat. Child abuser. <laughs> that chick is like, what y'all doing? <laughs> and then he just leaves. <laughs> oh, man. All right. When are you gonna grow up, Clem? Uh, is the pie done yet? This has gotten out of hand. Oh, yes, I suppose it has. That's right, it definitely has. I mean, scree. Oh, my, what's with all the noise? I thought that was an old woman. Matron Teresa. Oh, she is kind of old, I guess. Not, like, too old old. Like, I would say mom old if you were in your 30s. Yes, so old. <laughs> oh, man, anyways. I don't know the full story, but it sounds like Clem's been up to no good. Hey, no fair, I didn't do anything. The pervert lady just said I did. Who are you calling a pervert? Oh dear, this won't do. Clem, did you really not do anything? Of course not. Do you swear to Adios? I... 
I swear. I see. This... Alright. It's just that you dropped some kind of badge in the nursery earlier. That wasn't yours, was it? But it was in my pants pocket. Uh... I told you! Oh my. Hm, nicely done. Clem, no more excuses. Give her back what you stole. Hmm... All right, all right, I'll give it back. So just drop it. Clem tossed an emblem over to Estelle. Whoa. Eh, I'm out of here. Clem? It's all right. He'll be back when he starts getting cold. More to the point, why is everyone standing around? Why don't you tell me the whole story over a cup of tea? Stella introduced herself and explained about the recent events over a veritable feast of tea and pie. I like tea. I like pie. I like Lipton tea. Brisk. Anyways, huh, I see. He, this is pretty dope for an orphanage. He really isn't a mean spirit. Yeah, he really isn't a mean spirited child, but he can be quite the little trickster. As his guardian, I must apologize. I am truly sorry. Oh, it's okay. I got my emblem back. Plus, I got some tasty herbal tea and apple pie out of it, so we're square. Hmm. Well, thank you both. C was really the best part, though. It's just like the yeah, it's just like the kind they brew in a tavern. Is it grown locally? Yes. Guarding is one of my hobbies, actually. I give some I give some tea to the barkeep at the tavern whenever I have extra. Neat. Well, I'm gonna give yeah, I'm gonna give my vote to the apple pie though. It was just plain amazing. Well, I can't take any credit for that. She made it. She? Who? You, Chloe? Oh, this is so embarrassing. I was really rude earlier. To think that I could yeah, to think I could be so mistaken. Nah, don't worry about it. Apple pie heals all wounds. Or something like that. And besides, I wasn't acting like any kind of saint myself. That white hawk sure surprised the heck out of me, though. Still, stop all the cursing! Yeah, I can't say anything. I, I cursed earlier today by accident. <laughs> oh, man. Ask for forgiveness right away, though. Oh, that was C. He's a gray falcon. Huh, a gray falcon. That's Libero's national bird, isn't it? You seemed really comfortable with him. Is he your pet? No, I don't keep him. He's a close friend, though. Wow. As friends go, he's pretty awesome. That reminds me, aren't you a student at the Royal Academy? But you live here? No, I stay in the girls' dorm on campus. It's not that far away, so I like to come and visit when I can. I sometimes worry I might be kind of a bother, though. Oh, dear. Please don't think like that. You're always helpful when you come by. And the children are always happy to see you. Matron? I personally worry that you might be neglecting your duties at the school in favor of us. I know that's a silly concern that you have. Or a concern that... that whatever. Anyways. Well, I won't let you down. Hmm. You live on campus, huh? I've always kind of wanted to know what it was like. I imagine that we got a weekly taste of it at the church lessons. But isn't the entrance exam for the academy pretty hard? I think my head would explode if I had to take an exam like that. Eh, well, it's not so hard. I think it must be far more difficult to become a bracer. You know, I've always kind of wanted to be one ever since I was a little girl. I don't even know what to say to that. You call me a bracer, but I'm still just an apprentice. Yeah, we have to travel all over the kingdom before we, yeah, before we can advance. I think we'll be in Rouen for a little while, though. Well, in that case, perhaps I have a chance to repay you. Plus, the children would love for you to come back and play again. I'll prepare a whole mountain of tea and baked goods. Well, thank you. Mercia Orphanage. Major Teresa sure is a nice lady. Uh, yes, she's very motherly. 
Well, I'm sure all the children here think of her as their as their mother. It's like, hey girl, where you been at? Over there enjoying apple pie, but you wanna give me none. Oh, C, were you waiting for me? What you think? Yeah, I was waiting for you. <laughs> just give C <laughs> just a grown man urban voice. <laughs> I say urban, but I'm black. Anyways. Oh, that's right. They're not here to hurt anyone. This is Estelle and Joshua. You remember them, right? Yeah, I guess so. Good boy. It's like, wow, you can actually talk to him? Well, he doesn't actually talk per se, but I can understand what he's trying to say. We've always been able to tell what the other is feeling. Hmm. Bird telepathy, yeah, bird telepathy is so cool. Sounds like mutual love to me. It is. Hello, C. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you. Now read my mind. What does girl want from me? Better tell her to back up before I get the packet. And he ran. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Are my thoughts too complex to read? If you were thinking of what I think you were thinking of, then no. <laughs> oh, by the way, aren't you two headed to Ruan? Uh, yeah, we're planning to register for the local to the local guild. If we don't do that, then we can't work. Well, if you're going to the Ruanian Guild, I have a few things to do over there myself. Maybe I could show you around. <laughs> really? That'd be great. All right. But don't you have to go back to the school soon? No, it's all right. I got special permission to leave out today. I don't have to return until after nightfall. Well, sounds like a plan then. Let's go to Ruan. Alright, so before we go to Ruan, let's talk to Matron. Do come back soon. The children would be delighted to see you again. There isn't much here for them to do, you see. All we have is tea and candy. I like candy. Miss Chloe makes the best apple pie. I could eat it three times a day forever. Oh, there's another child here that we haven't seen yet. Anyways, I'm sorry for all the trouble that Clem caused. He's just always like that. What a pain. Stell and Joshi, you gotta come and play with us again, okay? Sure. Oops, I mean, do that. Is it going here? Stop, stop that. There we go. So, old girl has joined the party. It's Chloe. Clem? Oh, it's the brat. Uh, you know you shouldn't be playing around here. What would you do if a monster attacked you? I just happened, yeah, I just had to come apologize to you. I'm sorry for lying about the emblem thingy. Well, don't worry, I'm not mad at you. But isn't there someone else that you want to be apologizing to? Uh... No, there isn't. Hmm. I know you're a good boy, so why don't you go and apologize? Hmm. Well, if you want me to, I guess I gotta. Um, Miss Bracer Lady, I'm... I'm sorry. No, oh, you're apologizing to me? So there is justice in this world. Hey, don't get me wrong. I just wanted to apologize to Miss Chloe. Aren't bracers supposed to pay attention to what's going on? If a little kid like me can grab something off you so easily, what's your excuse? Bye-bye, mm. and make sure to hone that training of yours. Not before you lose something more valuable. Kinda has a point, though. What a little brat. Settle down. He was just trying to hide his own embarrassment. Not to mention, you really aren't the most attentive person in the world. Maybe you should heed his advice. <sighs> You're an even bigger brat. <laughs> well, you two must be really close. I mean, you act like brother and sister. Yeah, we do. Only, only in so far as we try to look out for each other. Oh, that's a big help. Well, I'm honestly a little envious. I was the only child. I wish I knew what kind of relationship feels like. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. 
Anyways, shouldn't we be heading out? We can get to Ruan just by following the beach. Okay, let's get going then. Alright, I wonder... Will it let me go back and try to... Okay, yeah, it will. So... Seeing how Chloe can't fight. I'm gonna save right there. Oh, he turned around. I didn't want him turning around. I don't know why. Okay. So I, I want to farm these guys. So, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, we got a 50% attack up. Let's go. Oh! Chloe, you wasted my 50! She wasted my 50. Oh, we got another 50. Oh, no, Joshua! I forgot. They explode. We're good to go. And we got an evade, too. So now I need three more. Or two more. I want to have at least four. So, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. And I will be back with the next part. And, yeah, this was actually... Ooh, I almost got attacked. This is actually a longer part than I thought it was going to be. So let's go ahead and... um. Yeah, this is a lot of part than I thought it was going to be, but thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part. Peace.